Welcome to the weekend edition of the Nightly New. Jay Ted, how are you doing this weekend? Happy weekend, everybody. Freedom, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Alert, alert. We can still improvise, adapt, and overcome and carve out our American dream if we use our head and prioritize. Welcome back to the Nightly News with my blood brother, Keith Mark. Please, everybody, we'll put it on the screen. Join me and Keith and uh, hunting families across this country that actually participate in a conscientious and very successful system at HunterNation.org. Please. Whether it's the spring bear hunting or the use of hounds and bait or whether it's the banning of baiting or uh, the three shell limit for for 15 doves. I mean, there's so many insane regulations out there. Let me just offer because I've done the research and I wish all my friends out there would do the research. They banned mountain lion hunting in California because some actress walked through the mall with a declawed, defanged, um, ribbon-covered mountain lion. Well, when you put ribbons around the neck of a mountain lion on a leash and you declaw it and defang it and call it Fifi, it's not a mountain lion anymore. That is, that is just soulless disrespect for a magnificent creature to turn it into some Hollywood bejeweled pet. You don't declaw and defang nature. You celebrate nature's perfect tooth, fang, and claw. Well, whether it's spring bear hunting in Colorado or Washington or the, the, the banning of the use of bait and hounds for mountain, for mountain lions or bears, let me just share the facts. When they banned mountain lion hunting in California, it not only failed to reduce the lion kills, it actually increased the number of lions killed in that state on an annual basis. Because when you take out the management and the management is about sustained yield, the population dynamics, the carrying capacity, the habitat. And when you started compensating alpaca and llama and horse farmers and cattle farmers and sheep farmers, tens of millions of dollars because of lion de- lion destruction of this livestock. And then the law became, you had to catch the lion three times and relocate it. But you know what lions do when you relocate them? They relocate themselves back to where they came from. And on the fourth occasion of this lion jeopardizing life and property, then they gave the permit to kill it. So mm-hmm. now instead of that lion break, bringing in income for licenses and fees and food and lodging and travel and groceries and supplies and restaurants and guides and outfitters and taxidermists and ice and coolers and beer and snack. Instead of that lion generating thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in revenue, now that lion has cost taxpayers millions of dollars in compensating all these ranchers and livestock operators, causing family pets to be destroyed, and then they hire a guy to kill the lion. We got to pay for that. And then they hire a guy with a backhoe. We have to pay for that to bury the lion. And by the way, lion meat is delicious meat. And the taxidermy showing reverence for that beast on the wall, remembering those days in the mountains with the hounds and the use. Keith, whenever they ban trapping, because the poor little Rocky, Rocky raccoon got his foot booboo, got a booboo on his foot from the trap. They ban trapping within one year. They had to go back and hire the trappers because the coons, the possums, the skunks, the beavers, the muskrats, the, the gray fox, the red fox, the coyotes and the bobcats in one year went from being in the asset column into being in the liability column. So when a guy gets up and says there's no reason to shoot bears, he's a liar. Because when we don't harvest them from the asset column in a sustained yield regulated hunting procedure, they immediately go into the liability column and they kill them anyway, but not as an asset as a liability. But as long as you can turn your back on reality and pretend that Fifi the lion has been declawed and defanged is the way God really wanted Mount Lies to be managed, to be kept in a cage in someone's garage and then paraded in a mall with his fangs and his claws taken. How disrespectful can you get? So when you find someone like in Colorado, They banned spring bear hunting and the use of hounds and baits to save sows and cubs. 
Well, guess what happened after they banned the spring season and the use of hounds and bait to save sows and cubs? The sows and cubs were run out of prime habitat into into marginal habitat, i.e. ranches and neighborhoods and suburbs and even cities. And so the increased slaughter of sows and cubs was unprecedented because the hunters didn't kill the old boars. That is our primary target. And so the old boars dominated the prime habitat, ran the sows and cubs out. They're getting slaughtered on on Kissimmee Avenue in Naples, Florida. Keith, Anti-hunters have no soul. And worse than that are those that claim to be hunters and they defy science and they go against the responsible management and harvest of these renewable wildlife resources. Please, everybody, take a deep breath. Examine the truth and the science. Join us at HunterNation.org. Can you imagine a man? I would like to meet this man who would look you in the eye and go, I've decided that God's natural season of harvest ends when the sun goes down on Saturday and doesn't resume until the sun comes up on Monday. I, as a man, I override God's nature. And that's what they're doing in Pennsylvania and in Maine and in North Carolina and so many other states where some man, when you only have two days during the natural season of harvest to hunt, he takes 50% of your hunting season away from you. Crazy. So HunterNation.org is the one fighting. Now, God bless Delta Waterfowl and Rocky Mountain Elk and the Wild Turkey Federation, Pheasant Forever, Whitetail Limit. I donate and I raise money for all these wonderful conservation organizations. But that's not the answer. That's part of the answer. The big answer is to vote sound science wildlife management to keep wildlife in the asset column instead of forcing it through stupidity and dishonesty into the liability column. Please, everybody, HunterNation.org. Wildlife is a precious, valuable, renewable resource. We have a responsibility to keep it an asset not a liability based on some boo-boo Bambi goofball. So, hey, listen, I hope you all have a great weekend. Ted, have a great rest of your weekend, buddy. You bet. God bless the truckers convoy in Washington, D.C. Let's make sure we all support the great trucking convoy protest for we the people in the United States of America. 